In a previous video, I showed you how to use a mesh section sketch tool to convert a prismatic STL into a solid body. In this video, I'd like to show you how to take away all the faces in a model such as this where it comes from the actual extruded sketch that has segments. We're going to make it into a nice smooth outside and inside edge bowl. This all comes from the fact that this sketch is very segmented. Let's take a look at the differences. Notice when I move along this one, all the little segments. This one is smooth. It's all one. So that's where it's coming from. So let's turn off this and get started. So the first step we're going to do is turn this body off. We don't need it. Again, the sketch is all we need. This segment of sketch has hundreds of points around the edge. So the first step is to go into the surface environment and we want to do a surface extrude. I'm going to go symmetrical about the axis, the uh, XY plane and I'll just go a total of quarter inch. I don't need much, just enough to intersect the plane as a new body. Next thing I'm going to do is go into the mesh environment and I'm going to tessellate it into a mesh. Using the standard settings, I'm not going to do any more. I'll turn the sketch body off where it's been consumed. Ignore the opening, that's fine, we know that. So the next thing is go to the mesh section sketch tool. Pick on the mesh. Now we need to pick on a plane. So we'll pick on the XY plane, which is off the screen and you get the orange line right on the top of it. Say OK. Now we can turn the body mesh off. All we need is the sketch. So find the sketch in the browser and right click on it and edit it. Below the sketch you'll see the orange line which we're going to be using in a second. Next thing you want to do is go to the create menu and find the one that says fit curves to mesh section. This will bring up the Fit Curves to Mesh section dialog. There are many commands here for lines, arcs, polylines, closed polylines, or splines, circles, and ellipses. And the other components I hope you'll explore as you go. What we're going to do is be fitting splines along these curves. We're going to do it in two sections. We're going to use the short path first, which is the bottom. We use the long path second. So a short path, we zoom up real close to get the very, very corner. Then we'll just go out and zoom up on the other one for the short path. It doesn't really match which one you do first, but I like the short one. This now I'll switch to the long path and go back to the first point and you'll see it go around the top. Zoom up real close to get the right one and you've got a profile. Say OK. Finish your sketch. So now you can go into your sketch and you can turn off the orange or section mesh, uh, the section sketch. Now if you'll notice that the line has a very smooth outside. So what we're going to do now is extrude it and you'll see that it has no edges. Go up one inch. Very, very smooth. So we've taken all the points out of it and we've got a very smooth inside and outside model. We're going to get ready to shell this. Before I do it, I want to put a fill on the outside. Before I do that, I need to get rid of these sharp edges. So I'm going to go to fill it and I'm going to pick on those two very sharp internal edges and I'm going to move them out an eighth of an inch. Next thing I'm going to do is add a fillet to the bottom of a half inch. I did that ahead of time because when I shell it, it will pick it up on the inside automatically. So I go to shell, pick on the top, and I'm going to move in an eighth of an inch. As you can see, it picks up the outside fillet and makes the inside one automatic. Look how smooth those surfaces are. We've gotten rid of all those multiple points and faces. Now, Making a full fillet on the top is a breeze using the full round tool. Just zoom up on the top surface 
and pick on the face and you'll get around on the top automatically. So there as you can see that we have converted a very messy bowl into a very smooth one that's easy to fill it and work with. I hope this helped you better modeling in Fusion 360.